Ram Mandir Temple demolished to make way for Mosque 1528, according to the most popular version which finds mention in government gazettes, Mughal ruler Babur's general Mir Baki constructed a mosque after raising a temple at Ram's birthplace in Ayodhya's Ramkit, dispute during British India, religious violence over the site of Babri Masjid in Ayodhya occurred for the first time in 1853. Under the rule of Nawab Wajid Shah of Awad, the Nirmalhis, a Hindu sect, asserted that a Hindu temple had been demolished during Babur's era to make way for the mosque. Six years later, the Britishers installed a fence to partition the site into two sections. Muslims were granted permission to pray within the mosque. While the outer court was designated for Hindu use, in January 1885, Mahant Raghubir Das submitted a request to the Faizabad District Court, seeking approval to construct a canopy on the Ramchabutra, a raised platform situated outside the mosque. However, the plea was denied, Ram Lala idols inside Babri Mosque 1949, idol of Lord Ram surfaces inside Babri Masjid. One Gopal Singh Visharad filed a petition before a Faizabad court to worship the deity, Hashim Ansari, a resident of Ayodhya, approached the court saying the idol should be removed and it be allowed to remain a masjid, the government locked the place but priests were allowed to perform daily puj, plea seeks restoration of property to Muslims 1961. A petitioner filed a suit pleading for restoration of the property to Muslims, the Sunni Central Waqf Board filed suit in Faizabad Civil Court declaring Babri Mosque as property of board, campaign launched to build Ram Temple 1980s, a committee, led by the Vishwa Hindu Paris Had Party, VHP, was established with the objective of liberating the birthplace of Lord Ram and constructing a temple in his honor. Ayodhya Court Orders Mosque to be opened for Hindus to offer prayers 1986. Upon a plea by Hari Shankar Dubey, the district judge in Ayodhya issued an order to open the gates of the contested mosque, enabling Hindus to worship there. In response, Muslims formed the Babri Mosque Action Committee in protest, in compliance with the court's directive. The government under Rajiv Gandhi ordered the unlocking of the gates of Babri Masjid. Prior to the court's decision, only a Hindu priest had the authority to conduct an annual puja, following the verdict, all Hindus were granted access to the site, leading to the mosque assuming a dual role as a Hindu temple, VHP lays the foundation of Ram Temple 1989, VHP initiated the construction of a Ram Temple on the adjacent lands to Babri Masjid. Justice Dioki Nandan Agarwal former VHP vice president, filed a case requesting the relocation of the mosque. Subsequently, four pending suits in the Faizabad court were transferred to a special bench of the high court, the Rath Yatra 1990, under the leadership of its then-president, L.K. Advani. The BJP organized a national Rath Yatra from Somnath in Gujarat to Ayodhya. The primary objective of this rally was to express support for the Ram Temple agitation which was being led by the VHP at that time, the procession included thousands of Kar Savaks, or volunteers, affiliated with the San Parivar. Commencing in Somnath, Gujarat, on September 25, 1990, the Yatra traversed numerous villages and cities. Covering an approximate distance of 300 kilometers each day, L.K. Advani, leading the Yatra, frequently addressed as many as six public rallies in a single day. On October 23, 1990, then Prime Minister V.P. Singh granted authorization to Lala Prasad Yadav, the Chief Minister of Bihar, to arrest L.K. Advani. The then BJP president was taken into preventive custody as his procession crossed the border between Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. The mosque is demolished minus 1992. On December 6, 1992 the disputed Babri Mosque was demolished by the Karsavaks in the presence of leaders from Shiv Sena, VHP, and BJP. The destruction of the mosque triggered widespread communal riots throughout the country, resulting in the loss of at least 2,000 lives during the violence, Ghadra train fire and Gujarat riots, 2002, Coach No. 
S. 6 of Sabarmati Express carrying car Savaks from Ayodhya to Gujarat was burnt near Gadra Station. 58 people were burnt alive, leading to Gujarat riots which claimed more than 1,000 lives, ASI Conduct Survey, 2003, in 2003, the Archaeological Survey of India, ASI, surveyed the disputed site and reported evidence of a significant Hindu complex beneath the mosque. However, Muslim organizations disputed these findings, leading to ongoing disagreements regarding the historical interpretation of the site. Allahabad HC divides the disputed site in three parts. 2010, in 2010, the Allahabad High Court delivered its judgment on the four title suits about the dispute. The High Court ruled that the disputed land should be divided into three parts one third allocated to Ram Lala, represented by the Hindu Mahasabha, one third to the Islamic Waqf Board, and the remaining third to the Nirmohiya Kara. Subsequently, in December, both the Ukhil Bharatiya Hindu Mahasabha and the Sunni Waqf Board approached the Supreme Court, challenging the High Court's decision. All three sides approached Supreme Court 2011, all three parties, the Nirmohiya Kara, Ram Lala Virajman, and Sunni Waqf Board, appealed against the Allahabad High Court verdict, the Supreme Court stayed the HC order of splitting the disputed site in three parts, Supreme Court asks government 